the animal experience, uh, experiments were done to look at the problem of, uh, some of them were done for uh, looking at fetal alcohol syndrome and models of fetal alcohol syndrome in animals. Um, and some of that data began to show that some of the commonly used anesthetic agents that have some overlap in their function with uh, or their brain activity with alcohol tended to show that there was some injury to the developing brain. And by the developing brain, I mean the brain, as the brain matures in very young children, um, there are parts of the, uh, there are um, brain cells that are normally uh, what we call pruned. They die off. <clears throat> That's a normal part of brain development. Um, in, the, in, in the case of these animal studies, they tended to show that exposure to these types of um, anesthetic agents or other drugs um, increased the amount of uh, uh, brain cell loss and that excessive brain cell loss translated into um, abnormalities in learning or deficits in learning in animals. Um, so what we did is we looked to see uh, for the first time if the same thing could be seen in children exposed to anesthetic agents. We were in the very fortunate position here at Mayo to have both the Rochester Epidemiology Project that uh, carefully collates all of the medical records within Olmsted County and preserves those for later study and the uh, school database on learning disabilities uh, for all children attending uh, Rochester public and private schools and have the ability to use those those two databases to try and, and answer this question. The problem is that anyone who underwent an anesthetic also had surgery and it is unclear whether it is the anesthetic, the physiological stress of surgery, or perhaps the need to have surgery. So if you were having two or more operations, that suggests that probably you were in some way sick. Now it's possible that those two operations were uh, ear tubes uh, uh, once and then uh, tonsils and adenoids a second time and other than sort of recurrent in ear infections and, and, and sore throats maybe a, a very he otherwise healthy kid. Um, on the other hand the uh, uh, Possibly, you know, e even a kid who's just having uh, adenoids out is maybe has sleep disordered breathing uh, and isn't sleeping well at night and, and uh, so it doesn't perform up to expectations during the day. So it's, it's hard to know what the cause of the learning disability is. And so we can't say that it's the anesthetic per se that caused it. We are trying to do a follow-up, or we are not trying to do, we are doing a follow-up study right now where we are working at trying to match each of the kids who had an anesthetic with a kid who has similar medical problems but did not get an anesthetic and see if we can tease that out. Parents and their physicians need to balance uh, uh, some of the, the kinds of normal decisions that we all go through when we decide to have uh, surgery uh, for one of our children. Um, <clears throat> what we want to be careful uh, uh, and not do is, um, I think a way to look at this is we want to be careful about unintended consequence. For example, if a child, one of the more frequent procedures that children undergo is tubes in their ears. If we were to delay placing tubes in children's ears, they may have uh, hearing problems. And because they have hearing problems, they may have language delay. And because they have language delay, they may have learning disability. So we want to be careful about 
the unintended consequences of delaying surgeries that, would, that we would have done otherwise. Uh, I would emphasize again that it's, it, that it's too early for us to make, to make any recommendations about changing the usual practice uh, that, that, that has served children well for a very long time. The Food and Drug Administration is very much aware of this problem and they have been very proactive in, in trying to, to gather information as quickly as can be gathered but as thoughtfully as well so we, so we make sure that the answers we get are, are well constructed, well thought out answers that don't create undue fear uh, among parents and families.